All right, I'm putting up uh, my completely amazing Matthews VXR compound bow. It's the 31.5 model. Um, due to military injury, I'm not going to be able to use her any longer. So I'm going to put her up so somebody else can enjoy her and keep her going. Uh, it was not used much. Sighted in a few times. Was not able to use it on the hunt. But uh, we're going to get it up and going. I'm going to go front to back, top to bottom for this thing so you can see it's uh, just an amazing bow. Um, on the upper limb here, you can see the VXR logo from Matthews. Um, got really nice um, SW idler cams. And these are the oversized cams. Uh, it's got a nice uh, zebra bowstring. The, the D loops are just in immaculate condition. There's a ton of life. I mean, the, this cord's basically new. I know it's kind of common practice. You get a new bow, you change the cord to be safe. Uh, not to say I probably wouldn't do it myself, but uh, as you can see, this this bad boy is just it, it's perfect. So you're not going to go wrong by keeping this if you choose to. But uh, as you can see, there's no flaws on it great condition just completely beautiful so um we're going to the site first this has the black and gold ascent pro 4 uh, it's the five pin as you can see there halo with the leveler and uh this one is the upgraded one as you can see because it's got the 18 point adjustment post instead of the 12 uh, most of them are 12 this one just gives you a little more accuracy at range to dial in a little you know a little more fine tuning, I guess, compared to the lower grade models. Uh, it's a very nice sight. Can't go wrong with them. Love them to death. Uh, it's about the only one that I'll use anymore or would have used. Um, as you can see here, there's the uh, 31.5. Uh, all the Matthews logos, the grips, just it, it looks brand new. As I can told you, it's not been used much at all. A couple of times out, that's about it. But uh, working our way down here, we got the uh, also upgraded the QAD Ultra Rest uh, bow rest system. I've got the uh, tack tape I put on it. Um, you can take that off if you choose or put more on. I kind of liked it myself. For a little less balance, but again, to each his own. Some people like it, some people don't. We got our stabilizer bar here that's... that's uh, Tipped with an EAH, EAH, excuse me, Echo Hilo Sam Nano Stabilizer. And again, this is the oversized one. Uh, there's a picture on the uh, page that shows it. I believe it's a, the 11 inch model, I think. Uh, don't hold me to that, look at the picture. But as you can see, great stabilization for range. Good rollover, smooth release. Can't go wrong with it, just, just absolutely perfect. Um, Stabilizers all around, EAH, down at the lower limb, attach point. You know, we got the same at the bottom here. Um, this is just an immaculate bow. Thousands of dollars was put into this in new condition. You know, this ha these have the new cross-centric AVS um, upper limb and lower limbs. They're just, this is just a complete and beautiful work of art for a bow. Smoothest thing for this size you'll ever see. I have always personally liked Matthews over Hoyt and a couple of the other bigger names. Um, but that's just me to each his own. Uh, it's gonna come in this really nice East End soft case. And uh, there is a quill in here with a few upgraded bows and tips. See, you know, a couple of SMEs are these would be great accesses for hunting. So, for eBay policy, we won't go to the tip. But as you can see, you've got some couple of couple of hunting tips, couple of practice tips there. Get used to it all the way around. This will be included in it. So again, I hope this video helps you see the quality of the bow. Sometimes pictures 
just do not do stuff like this justice. So that's where we're at with it again. This is the uh, Matthews VXR 31.5 in completely mint condition. In all honesty, probably no more than 20 shots have been fired off of it. 25 would probably be an exaggeration, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bow. Hope it goes to a good home.